charcoal or biochar is an incredible addition to any garden. It improves soil structure, retains nutrients, and promotes the growth of beneficial microbes, turning your garden into a thriving paradise. But what if you don't have charcoal at home? Don't worry, because we're going to show you how to make your own charcoal and transform it into a nutrient-rich, microbe-rich mixture that will nurture your soil for years to come. First, we'll need to burn some wood to create charcoal. It's important to use hardwood because softwood tends to burn quickly and turns into ash instead. While wood ash is also beneficial for plants, we need charcoal for this process. Find a safe spot to burn the wood, ensuring there's no wind to spread the fire, and let it burn until the flames die down and you're left with glowing embers. Once the burning stops, wait for the charcoal to cool completely. This step is crucial for safety, so don't rush it. After the wood has cooled, separate the charcoal from any remaining ash. You'll see chunks of black charcoal that are harder and lighter than ash. Set these aside for the next step. Now it's time to break the charcoal into smaller pieces. Take a sturdy brick or another heavy object and crush the charcoal into fine, small chunks. The smaller the pieces, the easier it will be for the charcoal to mix into your soil and interact with nutrients. Once you've crushed enough charcoal, grab a five gallon bucket. Place the crushed charcoal pieces into the bucket, filling it about halfway. This is the base of your mixture. Next, we'll add an equal amount of compost or manure to the bucket. This step is essential because it introduces organic matter and microbes to the mix, turning it into a living, nutrient-packed soil amendment. The combination of charcoal and compost creates the perfect environment for microbes to thrive. Microbes play a crucial role in breaking down organic matter and releasing nutrients for your plants. With the charcoal providing structure and aeration, this mixture will give your garden an incredible boost. To supercharge this mixture, we'll add a jug of liquid fertilizer. If you've been following our channel, you might have seen how to make this liquid fertilizer a week ago. If not, don't worry, you can check out our video for a step-by-step -step guide. This fertilizer brings additional nutrients and helps kickstart the microbial activity in the mixture. Pour the liquid fertilizer into the bucket, making sure it saturates the charcoal and compost thoroughly. Now, fill the rest of the bucket with non-chlorinated water. Rainwater works perfectly if you have it, or you can let tap water sit out for 24 hours to allow the chlorine to evaporate. Chlorine can harm beneficial microbes, so it's important to use water that's free of it. Once the bucket is filled, stir the mixture well, ensuring everything is combined evenly. The charcoal will soak up the nutrients and microbes from the compost and fertilizer, creating a powerful soil amendment. Cover the bucket loosely with a lid to allow some airflow but keep debris out. Let the mixture sit for at least seven days. During this time, fermentation will occur allowing the microbes to multiply and the nutrients to bind to the charcoal. This process transforms the mixture into a living, nutrient-rich solution. After a week, give the mixture a good stir to ensure everything is evenly distributed. Before applying this mixture to your garden bed, make sure the soil is moist. Microbes need moisture to survive and thrive, so watering your garden bed beforehand is essential. Pour the mixture onto the bed, spreading it evenly. The charcoal will stay in the soil for years, continuing to improve its structure and nutrient retention. The microbes and nutrients will enrich the soil, creating the perfect environment for your plants to grow. If you want to use this mixture as a liquid fertilizer for your plants, it's entirely possible. However, you'll need to dilute it first to avoid overwhelming your plants with too many nutrients. Mix one part of the charcoal mixture with 10 parts of water and use this diluted solution to water your plants. This ensures your plants get the benefits without any risk of nutrient burn. This method not only provides an incredible boost to your garden, but also recycles organic materials and helps reduce waste. By making your own biochar mixture, you're taking a step toward creating a sustainable, self-sufficient garden. Over time, your soil will become richer and more fertile, supporting healthier plants and higher yields. 
If you're excited about trying this out, don't forget to check our channel for more videos, including tutorials on making liquid fertilizers, sprays, and other gardening tips. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like to support our content and stay updated on our latest projects.